This week on USA Outback, we take you to the wilds of western Montana on an exciting hunt for mountain lions in the Bitterroot National Forest with guide service Wildlife Adventures. If you've never seen a mountain lion up close and personal, this is the show for you. Hi, I'm Ben Wallers with Wildlife Adventures and you're watching USA Outback. morning of my hunt started in minus 15 degree weather at 5 a.m. searching forest service roads for fresh Tom mountain lion tracks. My guide was Wildlife Adventures Ranch Manager Daryl Lane. The Como drainage up in there and uh, down here on the lower end there's actually a waterfall right at the head of Como Lake and cascades down through the rocks and drops into the lake good place to go up and fish in the springtime and uh, creates a little current up in there. This here is about uh, 35 miles south of the city of Missoula, Montana, in the uh, what they call the Bitterroot Valley. And to our left is what they call the Bitterroot Mountains, uh, looking into toward um, the west side of the valley, looking in toward Idaho, the Selway Bitterroot Wilderness. And what we're doing now is going to get go out and go down the uh, the main highway and get down toward. Um, up near one of the trailheads. It's called Lost Horse Creek Road. And uh, unload the sleds there and run four service roads. Just go follow these four service roads and up into these drainages and see if we can cut a cat track. And with this heavy snow that we've gotten, it's drawing down or pushing down a lot of the elk and a lot of the mule deer. And the mule deer are the cat's favorite food and uh, they're just looking for weak animals right now. Tell me, what'd you see, buddy? Oh, we got a couple of line tracks up there. One's real fresh. I think it's made this morning, we hope. I know it's plenty chilly. 
You know it's cold when your water bottle freezes inside your backpack. Exactly. Cat came up the road, walked along here. We already ran it over once. Turned around about 50 yards back. Walked right back this way and dropped off the hill right where the snowmobile's parked. Okay. Should be pretty fresh. Well, they say get these dogs and see if we can't get on him. Come on, baby. Get back. <laughs> Well, we're just gonna hang out here a little bit and see if we can hear them catch a cat down in there. Okay. There's a good chance across the road below us. We might have to go down there and check that. Back down where we just left. Yeah, back down to where we just left. <laughs> yeah, I was 20 below this morning in town and a little windy, so. So a heat wave of three degrees this afternoon. Yeah, yeah, it's warmed up to just a little over zero now. Well, they tell me there's no such thing as bad weather. It's improper clothing. Right, right. <laughs> there's no... That's something that you really got to watch, too, especially when you're out chasing cats this kind of weather. You know, frostbite is a factor that you need to... Yeah, this is really serious out. serious out here. You got to really be prepared for what you're going to do. And uh, got to be prepared to spend the night and be able to start a fire. Chasing these cats, do you ever have to spend the night out here in these hills? Yeah, yeah, they're real unpredictable. Wherever the cat goes, you're going to have to go. And it might be 200 yards down the hill or it might be 10 miles across the mountain. And right. I've had to spend the night out three or four times. If I wouldn't have been prepared, it wouldn't have been a good situation. I always make sure I got enough clothes and, and right. gear to get a fire started and make sure that I'm going to be comfortable over the night, or at least as comfortable as I can be. Yeah. What's some things that you recommend that they do before they come out on a cat hunt? Well, as far as being prepared, make sure you got matches and extra lighter that you know works and a good fire starter. And I always wear a, or bring a change of socks mm -hmm. so that uh, you know after you're hiking hard and you get all sweaty the last thing you want to do is stop and freeze because you're full of sweat. And right. I change change my socks and usually have another shirt I can put on and, and uh, just make sure that I got a nice warm spot out of the wind and yeah. to get my fire going. All right. And hope for the best. <laughs> Don't get no better than this. 15 below zero. Almost a tree line. <laughs> Catch up to him tomorrow. The second day of the hunt, our group had cut a fresh cat trap in an area that just had to hold a big cat. Roaring Line Canyon. Across the ravine, we could watch Moondog hot on the trail. That is some rugged terrain. It's the all important part here. Wow. What, what sex it is. Oh, pretty cat. On, they? When they look right at you, it's just an awesome experience. Yeah. 
That's a big female. From here I can see the other black spot. Well, Moondog did his job today. We're up Roaring Lion Canyon right now. That's a pretty appropriate name. Yeah, pretty appropriate. There's at least three cats in here today, and we got two treed. This one, there's one down below. We'll go show them here in a minute. this point this makes that climb up these hills worthwhile oh yeah, yeah. it's all worthwhile when you get there it's a pleasure watching the dogs it's really all about the dogs That afternoon, Moondog was hot on another yeah, tree. There's, there's quite a huge number of females around. That didn't stick around long and bailed out of the I tree right you know, before our eyes. I treed two, and there was a couple more cats in there. And today, there's at least three in here. And, uh, as you've been seeing, there's old tracks just about everywhere we go. Just a matter of catching up with the right one at the right time. Head looks like a male though. Has a big square head. Well, don't go away. We have more great cat hunting action from out here in Victor, Montana with Wildlife Adventures. But first, a word from these sponsors. With all the bows to choose from, how do you know which one's right for you? You need to consider your primary use, that being hunting, 3D, or target archery, price range that you're looking for, and also the size and strength of the archer. It's important to go to an archery pro shop to get properly fitted for your bow. Draw length is the primary concern. For a lady or a teen, you want a 23 to 27 inch draw length, and for a man, a 26 to 30 inch draw length. The average man's draw length is 28 inches. 35 to 40 pounds is the minimum, with 60 to 70 pounds being most common for bow hunting. Bows from Hoyt, Matthews, Bowtech, PSC, Parker, and Martin offer bows for all archers. Choose your accessories individually or as part of a complete package. New compound bows run from $150 to $700 with packages running $100 to $300 and top quality accessories running as much as 
For accurate shooting, a string loop, kisser button, and peep sight are a must. Use these guidelines whenever selecting a new bow. I'm Rob Coffold, and that's your Archery Tech Tip of the Week. Who are we running today, Ben? Oh, Ollie, Annie, and then Dean's dog, Maya. She's a puppy out of Annie. Is that this one here? Yep. Hold up. Let's go and get in there. Right. We'll chop her down. Well, it's female. She's got a couple kittens with her. She left the kittens up in the rocks, I think. She's only about 70, 75 pounds. Just a young cat. Pretty easy chase, all in all. What would they do? Get all the way to the top? The squeeze box. Not at all what the name implies. This is not the slam one side, make a big double yelp type box call. This is a squeeze box. This is a call used to finish your turkeys. When you need that one hand operation and you're not, let's say, a mouth diaphragm user or any other way to make a sound, what you can do is just simply take this in one hand. It's soft. It's loaded with a spring in there. So you just need one hand. Look. So you can put it down to your side, you can do anything, but it's one hand operation. That's the squeeze box by Knight and Hale. The shooting sports are probably the most hazardous recreational sport there is to one's hearing. But yet we're all guilty of this. We'll go to the range and we'll wear muffs or we'll wear plugs and we'll protect our hearing at the range. But in an actual hunting situation, the last thing we're going to want to do is put plugs on our ears. And there's a reason for this. Your hearing is a very valuable sense when it comes to being successful in the field. But there are products available now that will give you normal hearing, enhanced hearing, and protection whenever you shoot your gun. So remember, the next time you're out hunting, protect your hearing. Gotta get him to turn around. Okay, right. You see him coming out that limb now? He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. Last day, last hour of the hunt, seven day cat hunt. I'm soaking wet, swimming up here. Ben. All right. Handshake ain't gonna get a uh. brother. <laughs> 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 yeah. Thank you, buddy. What a job. Looks oh. like the dogs are gonna take it back to the truck for us. I see that. Oh. Danny, how many cats did we tree this week? We tree, what is the total, eight, eight cats? Eight cats in five days. Oh, 
Just, what an experience. Just waiting for the right one. <laughs> what did I tell you the other day? Yeah, last minute of the last day, and it's <laughs> it's four o'clock right now. We we got we heard the dogs. Yeah, the dogs. We heard the dogs bay up at two o'clock. Yeah. You finally came back around. We met up with you at two thirty. It's now oh, almost four o'clock. Yeah. Took two hours to get up here. Yeah. And I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but we started way down at the bottom of that valley. You can see right where that building is. We're about 200 yards from that, that building there. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey. What a trophy. Hey, welcome to Montana. <laughs> Look at the head on this thing. Holy cow. 16 gauge. Ithaca shotgun on this mountain line. Wow. And it almost came out of my head. <laughs> There's a claw, buddy. That is a claw. That's what takes down mule deer, elk. And anybody that's not paying attention when the truck here in this kind of country this time of year. So be sure and give Daryl or Rick a call if they're a wildlife adventure. And if you want a hunting experience or just an experience of a lifetime out here, Right here on USAM.